the pump representative has completed the pump test. Now it's time for us to come back and set our pressure levels for cut in and cut out. We'll also be looking at whether or not a uh, running period timer is required. We call it a minimum run timer. We can program that. Also, if you have multiple units in an installation, you want to set a delay between starting of various units, you can set that sequential delay as well. One of the last items we'll do here is to show you how to set up the weekly or monthly test. Uh, NFPA 20 now requires that a monthly test be performed on these pumps. They can do it automatically. You can do it manually as well. Uh, FM requires the weekly setup. With your normal display, hit the escape key. You'll see real-time information pop up. One, up arrow one time gives you the installation setup menu. Press the enter key. Hold the up arrow to increment the numbers to the pass key, which is 2008. If you go past it, you can use the down arrow to come back. Once you're there, press the enter key. Cut in comes up first. The pump man has given you the information you need for your cut in point. Let's say we want to set it at 50 pounds. Press the enter key and raise the pressure to 50 psi. Press the enter key and it stores it. Down arrow one time tells us our 51, our cutout pressure is now 51. It actually maintained the separation of cut in and cut out. Cut out is always above cut in. Let's change that to 55. Press my enter key, changes to the carats around the number, up arrow to 55. Press enter, now stored. Using the down arrow key, we come into minimum pump time. This one has been set off as it normally would leave our factory. We want to add 10 minutes to this. Hit the enter key and up arrow to 10 minutes. Enter once again and it's stored. Sequence delay start time delay. Same function. Again this one is zero seconds meaning it will immediately start. If this is number two in a group of uh, two pumps I'd like to put a 10 second delay here. So I'll enter come up to 10 seconds and enter once again. My 10 seconds is now recorded. The weekly test, you um, arrow down, you can go through the clock and calendar, current day of the week, pressure display, monthly test is disabled, Weekly test is disabled. We'll press the enter key to enable it. Up arrow or down arrow, it's now enabled. What day of the week? We want it on Sunday. Let's change that to Monday. Enter, down arrow, time. This is 12 a.m. That would be midnight. Let's make it 4 p.m. on Monday afternoon. It will run for 10 minutes and it's complete. Press the escape key and you're back to real-time info.